Alright, hello and welcome back to another video. Now, today I'm playing the uh, Radkampfwagen 90 here first on Port Novorossiysk. Now, the Radkampfwagen, I've had it for quite a while, but I've never really played it all that often just because, you know, it has stock heat, so I kind of just, you know, that made me really unmotivated to play it. But, you know, I guess recently I did pick it up now because it did go down in battle rating. Now, uh, here on this map here... There seems to be a tank right there. That was a terrible shot. Luckily, my Type 87 RCV friends here were able to deal with them very easily. And I guess now maybe we can be a bit brave. And uh, yeah, push that corner. And let's reverse back into cover so that we can safely reload around. Now, uh, maybe what you do notice with the Radcomb Flagon, you know, if you're used to playing stuff like the Strikers, that it turns much easier, I guess, because four of the axles are all axles turned instead of only two. So, uh, yeah, you have much better turning performance. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see uh, who is behind this corner here. There is someone right there, as well as a T-64 behind that corner as well. I'm going to quickly move. I tank back into position here into a more, uh, I guess you could say, conventional way of moving around the place instead of reversing. Um, a Type 87 turn there seems to be repairing, but I think he should be fine. E64 there has backed up into cover, and let's see if there's anything else. There is T72B 1989. Uh, is it looking at me? Yes, it is. Let's not push that corner then. Instead, let's just look around here and, you know, oh, he shot. Never mind, we're pushing, but he's also died. He is not dead. Uh, yeah, he has, but I guess I saw someone else there who could have shot me. Luckily, I was able to get him on time before he, uh, yeah, reacted towards me. Now, as far as I know, that T-64 is still very well uh, alive and well. So, uh, let's just try and push around this corner here. Quickly look around the corner here. There is T-64 and an XM1. I would not push that if I were you, Type 87, not my bad. Maybe let's not obstruct, uh... Yeah, his, uh, reverse path there. Said maybe we can try and sneak a shot on that T-64's barrel, although that does seem... unlikely. I guess there's an XM1 here as well. Oh, could have gotten the barrel there, but sadly I didn't have the reaction time to do so. Well, oh, sadly, uh, my Type 87 friend uh, has died, which is not very good. And also, it looks like my friend up there is having difficulties, but I think he's able to handle that. Instead, let's just look around the corner here. Yeah, no, there's two tanks. That's uh, something that you don't really push, especially at top tier where, you know, they can just take out your crew by just shooting the side of your tank or something. It's not really nice. I guess in this case, we should probably just wait for the team here, but it looks like there are actually three tanks there. Now we're going to scout them all because, uh, well, scouting does give us a bit of bonuses in terms of, you know, spawn point reduction for casts and, uh, yeah, just spawn points in general. But yeah, it looks like these tanks here have fully backed off in the cover. Sadly, I don't have any smoke grenades, so I can't really do anything against them. Maybe what I can try and do is... Uh, try and help the people out here although uh, yeah there's no real guarantees oh no that's not good uh well we're gonna get one of them but no guarantees on the other there we go and that gives us two kills oh i guess we can go quickly see how the tanks here are doing looks like uh they've gotten a bit more better of a hold here now so hopefully we can push around this corner, although it looks like this leopard here is smoking for whatever reason. I don't really know why, but I am just going to move around here. And, uh, oh, wait, there's a timer. It's counting down. That's not good. I think the tank here is dead, so we should be good. All right, there seems to be a tank here to the left, although it looks like, uh, yeah, my team is dealing with it very well. I think this battle is basically over now. Um, yeah, I mean, they're already holed up in their spawn. But let's go into the next battle then, if nothing else happens. For our second battle here, we are on Sands of Sinai. Now, uh, this map here, I guess that scout 
failed for whatever reason. That's a bit disappointing, but we did get the kill on him there. And uh, we will hopefully be able to reload another round before we round this corner. There we go. Looks like there is another tank there. We did get his gunner and engine. So uh, it looks like we will be able to get another shot on him. There we go. Very nice. And uh, let's just try and climb this hill here without getting shot from the A point. Alright, now that we've made it on top of here, I'm going to just take a small little break. Because uh, there looks seems to be quite a few tanks there, and they are most definitely sort of looking uh, where I would be if I would push around that corner. And the problem is, you know, if you get like push around this rock here, you're kind of isolated, and uh, they can shoot you really easily. So I'm just going to wait here. There we go. Got his cannon barrel. Uh, looks like he's already been scouted by my teammate there. And uh, this tank here does not seem interested in shooting me so we'll get him and uh, yeah you know what i think i will push though because it does look uh, relatively safe enough so i'll take my chances and see how it goes this type 16 here seems to be a bit scared i don't know what of never mind that guy did not have a breach uh, no he had all the breaches and all the loaders never mind but it looks like we were able to get on him get him but what am i saying you know whatever whatever the case may be We've, uh, yeah, successfully infiltrated this area of the map here. We're just going to scout this guy in case we die. And uh, secure ourselves. Oh, that. Okay. I guess uh, hitting his ammo is not enough to kill him. That's uh, interesting. Whatever, we've gotten him now. And uh, I think we are relatively safe. Ooh, we see a tank all the way down there. Now, uh, sadly, I don't actually have a laser rangefinder in this thing. And uh, it looks like he has actually gotten my driver, which is really bad for me. Hopefully, he doesn't get my transmission here. I am going to try and... Oh, okay, I'm pressing the backup key, but I'm not actually backing up. That's not good. Well, you know what? I'm just going to advance instead then. And uh, hopefully... He won't be able to shoot us, although now I'm exposed to this entire area here in front of me. You know, sadly the scout there didn't work either, so we're gonna- oh, that's bad. Oh, luckily we were able to dodge a shot here. I'm not really all that good in uh, shooting in this tank. Let's try another round there. Oh, look like we got his track, which is certainly better than nothing. But uh, yeah, still not really great. There we go, let's just not shoot him because, uh, yeah, his armor is strong enough and I don't have a laser rangefinder. So I can't really, uh, yeah, optimally engage him. Instead, let's just go hide behind this rock here. And maybe shoot people that are sort of in that area. Okay, I guess he did not feel like rendering in there. That's fine, we'll just get behind the rock here and repair our tank. There we go, that time the scout did work, so at least my teammates now will know uh, where they're getting shot from. There we go, that got his breach, but sadly uh, that isn't enough to kill him, but it looks like we have uh, plenty of teammates around him, so uh, yeah, I think he'll be uh, well, out of the well, back to the hangar relatively soon. There we go, in the end there we were able to get the assist. And uh, yeah, I guess we can now just kind of run in circles because uh, the alien team only has one helicopter left and he probably won't be able to do too much damage to our team. Alright, well in the end there we had gotten ourselves five kills, which isn't really too, uh, too crazy, but you know, you guys you got to see the mobility of this tank, so yeah, on to the next battle. All right, for our third battle here, we are on Breslau, actually on the uh, battle configuration here. Now, uh, the Time 2 IP seems to be very brave, and uh, he has found out the hard way that you can't really just push around that corner without any consequences. Hopefully, uh, I also don't meet any bad people here. You know, we're just going to look around this corner. I Okay, I guess my shot there hit the building, so uh, yeah, well, that isn't optimal. Maybe I should have been a bit more careful there. It looks like there are multiple enemies around here, so you know what? 
I think I am going to get out of here. Oh, it looks like my uh, IKV friend here has actually shot this tank. I don't quite know what it is though, so I am going to have to go investigate. Uh, yep. That did not do a lot of damage. Oh no, that's bad. Ooh, he shot there, but they're able to get a kill on him. Also seems to be a BMP here somewhere. I'm gonna quickly reposition the tank. And uh, yeah, face the whole front now. Now BMPs are of course very dangerous. There we go, we got the Type 16 to breach. But it looks like he uh, has run away here. Let's not push around this corner. Because there is a BMP right there. And now hopefully we can go after the Type 16. We hear another person here in front of us. Now the problem is I may be scouted though. But uh, apparently that doesn't matter. We've uh, gotten that guy. But it looks like our team up there is actually having some trouble. But we'll deal with that afterwards. There we go. We were able to scout this. Uh, I believe a T-55 through the wall here. Uh, there's actually two tanks scouted here, which is interesting. But it looks like none of them are currently interested in pushing up. Oh, that is a tank. I should have been watching that. There we go. That does give us another kill here. Oh, that is bad. That is a tank. But luckily, we did hear him on time there. T-55 somewhere here in front of us. There's also a helicopter here, but we're going to ignore the helicopter, mostly because we can't do anything against him. And he's technically already dead. There we go. There goes the T-55. Oh, okay, there's actually an X and 1 at the end of this road, as my uh, attempt to IP had found out. We are going to scout him here. And uh, we did actually get his loader there, surprisingly enough, but we didn't do any more damage than that. Maybe we'll be able to encounter him later in the match. Oh, there's actually another tank here. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I do hear it. At least I did before. There we go, we've actually scouted him here. Hopefully he does push up. I'm kind of gonna shoot through these uh, buildings here because you can do this. But it doesn't look like he's actually interested in pushing me. Oh, that's bad. There's the X and 1 here that's actually managed to get behind us now. There we go, we've gotten his gun breach. So we can safely engage him now. Oh, that does not kill his engine or track. Fair enough. I'm just gonna have to make sure not to get uh, killed by this T-55 or whatever here. Oh, that doesn't spoil enough to... Okay. Well, that's fine. There we go. That shell does finally give us the kill. And now I guess we can focus on that T-55. There we go, we do hear him to the left here. Oh no, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Luckily, we were able to scout him and he didn't shoot us. That uh, was uh, not very smart of me to just carelessly push here because of course, if I can shoot through this wall, then they can shoot through as well. And uh, yeah, let's just watch here, but it looks like he knows that I'm here now, so... Yeah, let's just, uh, hopefully our helicopters here will be able to get him, although it looks like they're focusing something else. No, we do actually hear a wheeled vehicle. There we go. Our uh, scout there did end up being off. There we go. We actually scouted another tank now. Looks like uh, a striker or something. 
So we're gonna have to appoint. Oh no, he's going here to the left. All right. But we'll just watch here. Now we're actually running out of ammunition. I just noticed we only have three rounds left. But uh, yeah. Oh, it's not a striker actually. It's got tracks. There we go. That was a fairly easy kill, I would say. We currently have 2,200 spawn points, but uh, only two rounds of ammunition. So maybe... Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we do hear T-55 now right next to us. Or at least I think we did. We definitely hear one in that area. Hopefully this helicopter here looks like he does have one ATGM left. So hopefully he'll be able to do damage. Well, there we go. We see the tank in front of us. It looks like an IT one and you know what? I may just... Uh sacrifice myself here because we only have two rounds of ammunition left so even if we do die yeah tickets wise are both teams are actually equal oh that's unfortunate oh that is very unfortunate from him there we go our last round of ammunition there <laughs> did actually manage to get him uh, let's see how many spawn points. 2,419. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to do the big brain move. Uh, no, that wouldn't be smart, actually. Uh, no, no, we're going to do the big brain move. And that is to actually J out and uh, hop in the big light panzer because there are a lot of planes up right now. And, uh, well, the big light panzer is an excellent AA, as you all know. There we go. That's one. Where is that A4? There he is. Ah, uh, bit of... Mm. Just those shells are a bit too optimistic. Anyway, let's load AP here. Reload our ready rack. And, uh, yeah. I guess we can go, uh... Assist the team bit more. There you go, we've made it here next to the capture zone. I didn't get as many plane kills as I thought I would get. Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to see what happens here. Well, we're gonna scout this guy here, but uh, yeah, no guarantees. So we're just gonna turn our engine off now. Hopefully he'll just forget that we existed there. And, uh, yeah, he'll just back off into cover. Then we can go decapture the zone. Oh, it looks like they actually have a helicopter up. So that's not good. Uh, I can't really range him. He's too far away from me. Looks like the XM1 here is going to push me. No, we're gonna scout him here. Now this is a very bad situation for me. Just because they also have a helicopter who is now shooting me, so I'm gonna get behind this uh, piece of rubble here. Oh, there we go. Just about dodge that guy. Sadly, I can't shoot this XM1 here. Oh no. Yeah, no. Can't really do much against that. Well, sadly, there uh, we weren't quite able to finish the game, uh, or we even win the game despite getting 12 kills. But uh, you know, that's just how uh, War Thunder is. Anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this video, despite me, I guess, losing the battle there in the end. But you know, we got 11 kills, so that's yeah, good enough. Anyway, hopefully, uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.